This one was interesting. So with the new president-elect Joe Biden coming in, I know people are still holding out that Trump might win. I don't think it's going to happen, but okay. Uh, look, there's going to be a new U.S. Uh, SEC chair. And what's going on is it's this guy. Gary Pensler, will be named chair of the U.S. SEC uh, by President-elect Joe Biden, said two sources familiar with the matter, an appointment likely to prompt concern among Wall Street firms of tougher regulation. Why? Well, Gensler was chair of the CFTC from 2009 to 2014. So when I read this, I'm like, ooh, that doesn't sound too good. Uh, you know, tougher regulation. Maybe for Wall Street, because they know him, but the question I had is, who is he? Because also, you know, Brian Brooks uh, is potentially stepping down. Nothing has been said. Nothing has been said by anybody, but this is just an expectation. Because Brian Brooks, uh, head of the OCC, was appointed by Trump. And usually when new administrations come in, uh, they like to clean house and get all their people in there. However, Biden has said he was willing to work with Republicans and was uh, thinking about keeping Republicans or nominating Republicans to his cabinet. Let's see if that happens. Brian Brooks is a great guy. Hope to heaven he stays there. That'd be fantastic. But the real question is, is, you know, who is Gary Gensler? And I think this statement, this two minute video will kind of clear it up for you. If you have any uh, apprehension, let's take a listen. Say Mexico, if it's between the U.S. and Mexico. So one idea that's been uh, around, uh, it's, it's widely associated with Ripple, but it's not only associated with Ripple, is this simple chart. What if I move fiat to crypto and crypto to fiat? Is this called a bridge crypto or bridge currency? I can sort of say I can go from U.S. dollars to Bitcoin or XRP. Yeah. You, you, you fill in the middle yeah. and then move over to the other fiat, uh, Mexican peso in my example. Um, and might that take some cost out of the system? We have Sean's issue earlier of volatility. If the crypto is fluctuating a lot, that, that causes some issues. If there's a lot of cost or friction, because now you're doing two currency exchanges, not one. I'm calling crypto a currency for this purpose. I know that crypto is not technically a currency, uh, but but for this moment, let, let me just call it, you have two currency exchanges and thus you have. And that's pretty much it. And he goes into some some different details. Now he does make a distinction uh, before everybody XRP army goes, ah, that's our savior. Look, he does say that there is a difference between Ripple, the company, and XRP, the product. And he talks about uh, transferring and ODL, on-demand liquidity and things like that. And he said, it's very different. And I was like, well, that sounds pretty good. But then uh, this was actually a response from uh, Jake Chervinsky. If you know what, Jake, good guy to follow. He is the uh, lawyer for Compound Finance. And he said, look, Gary Gensler deeply understands crypto and has strongly supported Bitcoin for years. His selection as SEC chair signals a policy shift in favor of Bitcoin ETF. However, he also won a record in 2018 saying there's a strong case that XRP is a security signaling no shift on that issue. So I know when we see these things, we get very enlightened and very excited, but we have to uh, withdraw and get all the facts. So thanks, Jake, for uh, putting out that tweet. All right. Let me know what you think in the comments section and let's move on.